To connect the Google Pixel Watch 3 with your Android phone, first of all, you will have to go into the Google Play Store and you have to be connected into the Wi-Fi or mobile data and download this application, the Google Pixel Watch. When you do this, you will have to simply open this application on your device. Now, we have to click to continue in the right bottom corner, accept this permissions, and now as you can see, we already can choose our device from the list. So of course, you have to be sure that your watch is turned on. If you wonder how you can turn it on, you have to just click and hold this button until the Google logo pops on the screen. So now, just select your device from list. And as you can see, we have to accept this pairing code by clicking on the pair button. Now, we have to wait a little bit for the connection, and this could actually take a moment, probably around 10 to 20 seconds. Now, as you can see, we have to sign in into our account. So we have to click to sign in in the right bottom corner. And right now, you will actually be able to add the same account that you are using on your phone. But if you want to add new account or if you are using multiple accounts on your phone, you have to click right here and then you can choose another account or switch between existing accounts. In my case, I'm going to use this one. So I have to click continue. Right now, we can copy our Google accounts to the watch. So we have to click copy. Now we have to use our verification method. So we can use your fingerprint or for example, the screen lock. Now as you can see, we have to actually wait. It's signing in. Right here, we can enable or disable this usage and diagnostic reports. I'm gonna actually unselect them. Another one, uh, we've got location, so I can recommend you to leave that enabled. Keep scrolling. You can back up your watch automatically so we can restore your data if you perform the reset or something, if there is some issue. So I can also recommend you to leave this enabled. And now when you scroll all the way down, click I agree. Now it's almost finished. Uh, we have to keep waiting for the last setup. And here we can choose our warranty. So pick the country where you actually purchase your device. Right here, we've got some base information. You have to scroll all the way down. If you want to get some information about the warranty, then you can go back and click continue. Right now, you will have to set your watch orientation if you are gonna put it on your left or the right wrist. I'm gonna use it on the left one and select where is the crown on the left or the right side. Now we can also learn how we can adjust size of bands, but I'm not going to do this. I already know. So click continue. Now we can enable this, elevate our well-being with Google Fitbit. So we can do this right now or not. Uh, I really want to use the Fitbit. So I have to click continue, click next, click next again. Keep tapping right here and you can install the Fitbit application. So you can click here and go for a few steps. But if you don't want to do this, you can click not now. And you can also do this later. Now click more, click continue. We can use Google Assistant, but we can also do this later. So I'm going to do this later. Now we have to set a lock for your watch. You can use pattern or pin. If you don't want to use lock on your pin, you have to click skip in the left bottom corner. And also we can set up Google Wallet. You can do this right now, or you can also do this later. That's your choice. And finally, you can actually get some apps on your watch. So you can pick some recommended apps, apps installed on your on your phone. But also you can skip this if you want, if you want to quickly set up this watch and then make some setup later, you can for sure do this. And as you can see right now, the watch is ready. So we have to click down in the right bottom corner and click this uh, notifications for incoming permissions. And as you can see, uh, right now we are here. So we can adjust a lot of features. And we've got also this information about the Fitbit application and some other, other features. If you want to dismiss, uh, you will have to just click right here. There we go. Now on your watch, you can let learn about some basic navigation if you want. And as you can see, now we are finally connected and we can use our Google Pixel Watch free. Thanks for watching.